I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. This election has, has engaged people like no other. I have been so impressed by the young people. This is what democracy looks like. Because all of this energy that is now in the United States, it, it reminds me of nine, the 1960s when I was young. And my daughter reminded me we were having a Mardi Gras party at our house Saturday night. And she said, no politics. <laughs> and I, I, don't talk, I, I try to stay away from politics and religion wherever I go. And there are a lot of men that leave with kicked shins and bruises because they want to start it. But um, it's just not, right now, it's, it's a bad idea to start a political conversation. I do not bring up politics uh, with someone that I know to be a fan of President Trump or even people that I know voted for him. It's very touchy. Because for one thing, when you care as passionately as I do uh, about the way I think things should be, uh, then it's hard to be reticent when someone is saying things that you find really to be wrong and shocking and just, well, wrong thinking. Much of this division is geographic. Left-leaning voters dominate both coasts and urban areas, while conservatives tend to live in between, particularly in more rural areas. Most people who live in my world are, 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 are Christian folks, we're God-fearing folks, we're, we're, we're hard-working folks. Um, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's farmers, there's mechanics, there's, there's uh, school teachers, there's school bus drivers, there's uh, factory workers. That's just, those are the kinds of people who are around here. We are content to live by the fruits of our labor. Folks that I know and, and who live around me and live all over the state who are like me, uh, you know, we're just pretty conservative, traditional kind of folks. Uh, and, and, and I think it's just easier um, to, to identify uh, with the Republican Party. One culprit of these divisions is the process of gerrymandering. Many states allow the politicians in power to redraw that state's electoral districts, meaning that one party can pack hostile votes into a few districts and improve their own chances in future elections. When you gerrymander a congressional district and you make it super safe, then you get the extremes. No, we need to have marginal districts, districts where people have to appeal to both sides. We've gone wrong by not creating districts that are marginal that are not safe districts for anybody. But we have to be strong enough and brave enough as patriots and as people who care about their country to allow for, for competition. And so today, the polarization is only a result of the gerrymandering, where you've got very right-wing and uh, not so many left-wings, but we have left-wing too, uh, elected that that uh, respond to a very narrow part of the population. Although the nation is becoming increasingly divided, Americans are united in their frustration with the nation's capital. The gridlock we've seen in D.C. where, you know, we refused to work with the Obama administration and now the Democrats are refusing to work with the Trump administration, um, that's not thinking, you know, what, what can we do in the public interest? Um, and, it's, and again, it all comes back down to money. And, and greed, and fortunately, our founding fathers set up a pretty good system, but, but right now, we've allowed money to get in. Politics in America is a corrupt game, and I solely believe that, okay? No matter what side of the aisle you sit on, all those guys are very, very well off. None of them have to worry about what they're going to eat when they get up in the morning, where, how are they going to get to work in the morning, their doctor's appointment, their kids clothes, the, the common things that we as common people have to worry about, they do not worry about. The best thing that has come out of this administration is the activism. There's a, a chant that we say during rallies, 
And, and we're seeing that. We're seeing that this is what democracy looks like. People are learning that they have a place in democracy. And that's a beautiful thing. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.